Good afternoon, everybody. Happy holidays. I uh, thought with the uh, winter season about uh, three or four days away from starting, the 21st of December, here in Ohio, I'd uh, start up something with the uh, snow throwers. I have an Aaron's 32-inch. Uh, Christmas is uh, about seven days away, and supposed to get a big uh, possible snowstorm here in Ohio, so which could mean as little as an inch to uh, several. So uh, first uh, snow of the big season, I think, of the first big snow of the season. I uh, had a couple little ones previously, so I thought it'd be a good time to talk about snow throwers and uh, let me know what you're using, what you think of it. Like I said, this is a 32-inch Aaron's Pro. Trying to see where it says pro, but not seeing it at the moment. It's got the 342cc Briggs and Stratton. I'm not sure what the 1650, I think that might be. A, I'm not sure what that means. Anyhow, I've been running the air and snow throws for about 25, 30 years. Uh, comes with a little shovel and a brush attachment. Little tips I do is I... Uh, lube up under here uh, the auger and then i spray the uh underneath there all of that with uh some sort of oil wd-40 whatever i've got silicone same with the chute inside the chute there i spray that so it's a pretty good one and i also i put a few extra studs in the tire so uh, but I'm more interested in hearing what you guys use. There it says the Pro on the front. So that's what I've got. Headlight, heated grips. Everything works pretty good. Uh, and it's the only model I've really used over the years. So uh, I've had little Toro single stage and things like that that quickly uh, moved to the Aaron's brand and the dual stage. So this has been a good, good unit for me. So let me know... Uh, in the comments and trying to dis uh, start some dis discussions on some of this equipment. So let me know what uh, kind of snow throwers you're running and the pros and cons of uh, what you're d using and why. So motor-wise, uh, two-stage, single-stage, just doesn't matter. Whatever you think uh, brand you have and if you want to give other people to just try to make it a platform where you can share other information so people can learn uh, positives and negatives of the snow thrower. So I would uh, recommend this particular unit myself. So uh, problems I've had, the main problem I had was probably, I think the belts uh, go a little prematurely. I wish they were maybe a little larger, thicker diameter or something. Oh, another big upgrade I've done. They typically have metal shoes on them, and I've switched to plastic, so it's much smoother. You'd think it'd wear out really quick, but it really uh, glides across the uh, concrete and asphalt uh, much smoother, and it seems to actually last longer. Of course, you can flip it upside down. So these are seem to be actually thicker and glide and wear a bit longer. So that's probably one of the upgrades and the belts being the, uh, probably the number one problem I've had. Uh, just you have to, especially if you're doing it commercially, you have to uh, change them out at least a couple times a year unless you get a newspaper or something in the auger and, uh, or a stick, that, a rock or something that jams that up and tears them up prematurely. But probably uh, commercially I'm getting a, one to two seasons out of a set of belts and uh, so you get far more as a homeowner. So that's my uh, take on my particular snow thrower. I'd like to hear what you guys all are using and think of yours and different things you do, trips, tips and tricks to set it up. So whatever you want to uh, throw out there. So I just thought I'd start something here with winter being three or four days away and Christmas and the snowstorm. Snowstorms are starting to develop and hit the uh, states and everything. So, all right, that's my time. Kind of cramped in the corner, can't really move around, but uh, gonna keep this short and post this and 
see how it goes. Thank you. Have a great holiday.